Hello everyone, this is Brooke and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Today I have my December 2014 favorites for you. And if you're new to my channel, this is where I go through my top five beauty products of the month and share them with you. And I usually always have a fail product too that I like to warn you about, but this month I don't have one and I really couldn't go through my collection and figure out what one should be. So rather than forcing that, I decided to just leave that out this month. But anyway, my top five beauty products of the month begin with CoverGirl Queen Bronzing Powder in Ebony Bronze. It's the Natural Hue Bronzer and it looks like this. And like I said, my color is 120 ebony bronze and I've been wearing this most of the month and the reason I like it so much is it's actually a deep enough color for me without being ashy now I have other bronzers that are either too light or not very effective they're good at adding uh, dimension to my face but not for contouring and that's what I like to use this one for and you can see I have used it here and I'm able to provide a nice soft contour under my cheekbones and around my forehead to add the extra dimension to my face. So the days that I feel like I really want to contour and be a little more dramatic, I reach for this and I think it's great. It's at the drugstore, I got mine from Walmart, I think it was about $6, um, but it's beautiful. It looks a little shimmery in the pan, but it does not come off shimmery at all. It's beautiful, it's a rich color, and if you have my skin color, I'm a cool undertone, cool to neutral undertone, if you have a skin tone like mine, then you might want to give this a try. The next product that I've really been loving this month and I've been reaching for a quite a bit is my blush from Cargo and it is in the shade Mendocina, Mendocino, sorry. And Cargo is a brand that you don't hear much about on YouTube, but I was able to find these at my Kohl's. And I know that they also sell them online at Ulta. But the blush color I use is like this, and I am wearing it right now. It's a beautiful, rosy, um, just a beautiful rosy color. It's kind of like my Plum Foolery that I like by MAC so much, but it's just a little bit brighter I think and it stands out a little bit more it lasts long and it's a little bit more opaque the plum foolery by Mac is a sheer tone so it doesn't go on as much so I really like this I'm wearing it right now I put it on in layers with a light hand until I get it to the um, level that I want it to be but I just think it's a really pretty color it's been going with a lot of things I wear it's great for the winter and I just I just love it it does also have some shimmer to it too but Again, it does not go on the face like that. It's very, not flat matte, but a very, very comfortable looking matte finish. And I, I really love this Cargo um, Mendocino blush. Uh, the other product that I've been loving, and I don't know if this has been in my favorites before, I try not to repeat, but uh, it's one of, it's been in everybody's favorites if you've got a YouTube channel, and it's called the Becca Skin P Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder, and of course I use the color Opal. It is this gorgeous um, rosy gold color, and it looks like looks like this when it's applied full blast. And it's just a beautiful shimmery color. It's very finely milled. A little goes extremely long way, and I just love it. It's what I'm wearing right now, and it applies the perfect glow. It's not chunky glitter, It's and it's not invisible. Like sometimes I'll put on highlighter, and then I'll look again, and like, did I put on anything? It's really there, and it's not gonna make you look shiny or greasy looking like some highlighters do, but it definitely gives you that glow, that kind of warm rich glow and adds that extra dimension to your face. I've really been loving the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Powder by Becca in the color Opal. Another product that I've been loving this month is the Lorac Zip Unzipped Palette and it looks like this. I hauled it a while ago and just started using it recently because in December I have been doing a lot of the no makeup makeup looks. Um, or the classic look where my eyes are pretty neutral but well done and I have a bold lip. I'll talk about the lip in a minute but as far as the eyes go 
this is the perfect palette for that classic look. It has um, a nice cool tone matte brown color and it is called Unspoken and I put that in my crease as a transition color. Then I use Uncensored which is this nice uh, almost rosy taupe color that I use all over my lid and Untamed which I use in the outer corner and in the crease for the the dimension and as far as my highlight today I used unbelievable for my brow bone highlight and also my inner corner highlight and I'll just kind of like sit here and see if I can get you to see what my eyes look like but this is the eye look that I have on right now and it's all from the unzipped palette I really really like this palette it's a uh, affordable more affordable than the on the Lorac Pro palettes but it's something that again nobody really talks about but I think it's worth it and my last favorite product is what I have on my lips. I've worn this lip in a few videos in December and I really loved it. Especially again with the neutral eye that I have been wearing. Um, I've been wearing the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks in, uh, this color is Melted Berry. And this is the lip lipstick that I got in a four piece set of the deluxe size samples of the uh, melted lipsticks. Now these are great sizes because this will last me forever but they do sell it individually and if I could make a color recommendation for people that would go with almost any skin color, any skin tone, undertone, whatever, I do recommend Mel Melted Berry because it is a beautiful rich color. It's a beautiful berry red and if you're not used to reds or you think they're too stark or you have a, a habit of getting them too orangey, this is for you. It's also a very wonderful finish. It's not, it's not, it goes on cream. It goes on creamy, but it dries down to almost a full matte, but it's extremely comfortable. So I love wearing it. I get to the point now where it's been on my lips for a couple of hours and I forget it's there. I it's richly pigmented and it'll stain my lips a little bit so touch up is no problem but it feels so comfortable for the amount of pigment and the finish that you're getting I think it's wonderful so that is Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Melted Berry an excellent favorite and that's all I have this month like I said I don't have a fail product um, everything was going pretty well for me but if I do come across any in my stash I will let you know next month and look out uh, really soon I'll be doing my best of 2014 where I'll go through all my favorite th videos that I've done throughout 2014 and kind of show you my top highlight products. My holy grails, ones that I just don't want to live without and that have been doing very, very good things for me lately. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day. I'll be back very soon with another video. And until then, bye bye.